You get in arguments about this subject a lot, man. People will come up to me and they go, well, 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 war, that's a man's problem, you know? It's a man's problem. Men are the reason why there's war. It's an issue with testosterone. That's where all this shit comes from. It's a man's problem. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Have you heard of Margaret Thatcher? <laughs> Let's go a little contemporary. Have you heard of Hillary Clinton? <laughs> Let's not even talk political. Have you heard of any of my ex-girlfriends? Been <laughs> oh, waging a war on my genitals for a long time. <laughs> I didn't think about it though. It's a very good question, right? Are men the only the gender that's responsible for war? And I have to think. You know, I know a lot of powerful women leaders that have been war hungry, right? Queen Elizabeth I waged war and killed 200 Lutherans just because she didn't like the way they were kneeling to God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? She basically looked at these people and said, God didn't have a goatee, slaughter him. <laughs> Joan of Arc was a badass warrior, right? A warrior so badass that the only way men could get their masculinity back was to call her crazy and have her burned at the stake. <laughs> the only way we could really do it. Yeah. I think, why, why do we say this? Why do we make the argument that only men create war? One of the arguments is that these women that do go, uh, that are war hungry, that do which these wars are trying to be leaders in a man's world, right? Which means that if you're a woman leader, that means that, uh, you know, you got to do some man shit. When uh, you got to burp at the dinner table, right? Whenever a hot broad walks in, you, you got to oogle her and go, ah, ooh, God, and then your eyes <laughs> pop out and you start to do this. You drone bomb a village because you care more about the resources they have than the people there. You know, man shit. We got to do that. <laughs> I think is there an all-female society that's all about peace? Is there a full matriarchal society that we know of that is all peaceful? Now you think about it, right? I mean, the first one that came to mind is the Amazons. But even they are a bunch of badass female warriors, aren't they? Yeah. The legend of the Amazons goes that they cut off one of their breasts to be better archers. Holy fucking shit. <laughs> The balls it takes to do something like that, right? <laughs> That's incredible because I don't see a bunch of men lopping off one of their testicles to be better at Medal of Honor on the Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it turns out war doesn't really have a gender. War doesn't care about your religion. War doesn't care about where you came from. War is about two things. It's about dominance and exploitation. That's all it's about. It's about making sure that we can we justify $827.4 billion. We need to justify that budget. So we're going to go to war about it. Right? We had to spend that money. But $5 solves every homeless person's problems across the country. That's all it takes.